reason I made this video is because I looked on YouTube and on the websites, different websites, to see if there's any system that you can get. There is. There's a few different ways of doing it. There's uh, bed lift kits that you can buy from RV dealers, and they're expensive. You can have them install it, and if you have a little mechanical skill, you can install it yourself. One of the things I ran into was another it, uh, option was that you can buy these garage lifts kits, and you can make your own bed lift from those, and they're about five hundred dollars. But with the list of materials I've got here. Um, I've got about $275 in this system. That's including the winch. I had some parts. I had this board here. I mounted to the bottom of the bed. Piece of plywood, three quarter inch stuff. Uh, had it already. Um, I purchased the cable. I purchased the winch. I purchased the pulleys and the hardware that goes along with that. I purchased the rails. So we're about $275. And so that's about what it costs. So if you like this video, you want to see more like it, just let me know. And I'll try to do some more things with a camper or some other projects if you have anything in mind that you'd like to see done. Well, you guys, I got too excited about getting started on this and I forgot to film any of it. I'm going to show you how to, I did our bed lift. It was one of those hydraulic, had the cylinders and you had to pull it down on one side and go back and pull it down on the other side and it came down oh the top of the bed is around five foot high and so i wanted it where you didn't have to have a ladder to climb on it so i've got it where to come down to about three and a half foot high now so um so what i want to do here is because this is so heavy and it's so hard to lift it takes two people to do this lift so what I want to do is uh, install a cable and pulley with a winch to lift this so in other words a lift bed frame uh, bracket fastened to the door frame itself and then it bolts to this and you can see it's pretty tight squeeze in there. There's two bolts goes into the frame. And there's this one bolt comes bigger bolt that comes out to the the slide rail for the bed itself. There's four of these, one in each corner. And then on the bottom there's another one. Another bracket right there and it's fastened to this rail and you got these sliders they go inside this rail back up and down you can see better on this one I don't know there's a slider comes up it comes up to the top right there and it stops when it hits that bolt on the bottom of these there's a uh, the Teflon stopper Here under the bed, I got, you can see it's a pull down. It's got the handle back there, but it's uh about center ways here. That's probably where I put the mount, mount the, I have to put me a board across here to mount it on. So it spreads the weight out. So the winch will be pulling from both sides, this side and this side. And hopefully it'll work out good. From this angle, you can see the slider, it fits in the rail, and it goes down, and it hits this stopper. There's a bolt through the bottom of this thing, and this front rail swings a little bit. I may have to figure out how to mount it so it doesn't move so much, but that back rail, it fits in really nice and tight up against the the uh, door frame I mounted it right here there's two bolts that go in the back side of this which is really tight so it took a long skinny extension 
to get those bolts into that frame. Had to drill those holes and tap them and uh, then got the stopper here for the frame. Um, so this zipper thing is for the screen door. So I had to cut, cut it back here so it fit over the top of this bracket and then a bolt to the bracket behind it. So that way you can still use your screen door. You don't have much headroom and it's extremely high to get up on. You had to have a ladder. This way, all you have to do is kind of jump up there. Now you can get up there on the, uh, put your foot on the couch there and just one more step, you're up on the bed. But I intend to, with a winch system, is let the bed come down to the frame of this couch right here so that it's uh, about four more inches lower, five inches lower than what it is now, which is pretty easy to process. This is the system to hold the bed up. It's a safety system, keeps it from jiggling down. The, uh, the cylinders actually hold it up because of the way they're designed. They go, they pivot on those points and they pivot down here where it attaches to the frame. And then as the frame goes up, it compresses the cylinder and then they expand back out as it goes up and it holds it in place. But then you got these that lock into this little mechanism right here, this little bracket. 